So we're taking a look at the internal analysis piece in the strategic formulation in chapter five in the management book we are working with. And so what we're doing here is we are in the strategic formulation process where we are actually developing strategy. And as we've talked about before, we do both external as well as internal analysis. The external analysis is covered in other videos and we look at things such as the PESTOL and SWOT, et cetera. And here we're doing the introduction into internal analysis. Other videos will focus on specific tools like the VRIO, et cetera. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergy season. All right, so when we are looking at internal analysis, what we really want to do, the goal of an internal analysis is to understand who we are as an organization and what strengths we have. Uh, and the strengths that we have internally become our building blocks so that we can meet the needs of our strategic plans so that we can be successful. So the strategic uh, capabilities that we have here um, they are coupled together with strategic resources as well as strategic competencies. And all of those things together make us successful. So to look at these a little bit more specifically, we can say that we have a core competency when we have a particular bundle of resources and capabilities that let us be competitive. And so let's talk about what resources and capabilities really are. As I already mentioned, resources and capabilities are the basic building blocks that let us be successful when we are executing on our strategic plan. They tend to be tightly linked such that we get capabilities after using resources over a very long time. So resources to be very specific are things that's essentially stuff, right? Not always stuff because they can be intangible, intangible too, but essentially things that the company owns. So tangible as well as intangible resources, right? Tangible, those are the ones that can be seen, touched, quantified. Buildings, equipment, property, land, machines, tangible resources. We also have the intangible ones. Those are the ones that we can't necessarily touch or quantify. They tend to be things such as culture, the competencies of our people, the willingness and passion and engagement that they have to go over and beyond the job description. Things that make us successful, but that we can't you know, quantify or, or you, we can categorize, but quantify and touch. Capabilities are what we can do. So resources are things we have and capabilities are the things that we can do. So capabilities are our abilities to bundle, manage, or otherwise use our resource in a manner that provides value. Because every organization, say, <clears throat> say you're a manufacturing organization, you produce cars, automobiles, whether that is Tesla or Ford or Toyota, right? So you need certain metals, you need uh, rubber, right? Those are resources. You can purchase rubber, you can purchase metal, but it is what you do with those that is going to make a difference. And that's the capabilities, right? Ford has a different workforce than Toyota that has a different workforce than Tesla. So we are using our resources differently and those capabilities then can make or break the business. Over here on the right side, we also identify something called a dynamic capability. So we have dynamic capabilities when we are keeping pace with our external environment. We are updating our capabilities. We're staying with it uh, and making sure we are learning and staying up to date to make sure that we're meeting the demands in the external um, environment. So together, our resources and our capabilities, resources tangible and intangible, capabilities, dynamic or otherwise, will make up our core competencies. And our core competencies 
are what make us successful in the marketplace. That's going to be it for today. See you next time.